Purim is a Chag that is beloved by all, young and old, religious and not as religious. But beyond all the merrymaking and fun and celebration of the day is a very deep, deep lesson for us. First of all, the rabbis tell us that in the future, even if other celebrations and Yom Tovim will be gone, Purim will last forever. And really, we have to think, what is the core of Purim? We are celebrating our salvation, our rescue from a decree of death on the Jewish people. Where did that decree come from? What did the Jewish people do to deserve a decree of destruction? In the Megillah, Haman has a conversation with King Ahasuerus, and he says, Yesh am mefuzar and mufurad. There is a nation that is spread out among your, your kingdom, and this nation deserves destruction. And with those words, he was able to convince Ahasuerus to sign the decree for the destruction of the Jewish people. But we know that every time the Megillah says the word Melech, king, it refers to Hashem. It refers to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And Haman, in that case, is the prosecutor. He is the Mekatreg, and he is having a conversation with Hashem. He says, Yesh Amafuzar Mufurad. He's referring to the Jewish people who at that time had disunity, had discord, had Sinat Chinam. They were not getting along one with another. Where would Haman see that there was discord, disunity? a spread out nation in the kingdom of Ahasuerus. It was the, at the actual party, the 180 day feast of Ahasuerus, that Haman saw that the Jewish people there had sinat chinam, that they didn't get along one with another, that there was baseless hatred. It was that, that lack of unity, that discord, that caused HaKadosh Baruch Hu to allow a decree of destruction on the Jewish people. But what was the antidote? What caused that decree to be destroyed. Esther and Malka said, Lech konsu kol hayehudim. Gather together all of the Jews, and they should fast for me. It was a gathering of unity. It was avat chinam that the Jewish people displayed that allowed the annulment of Hashem's decree. Because when the Jewish people came together, ki'ish echad b'leiv echad, like one nation with one heart, one person, they were able to annul, they were able to reverse the decree from above. And once again, because they stood as one man with one heart, it was as they stood at Har Sinai. And that's why the Megillah says, Kimu v'kiblu, that there was a second Kabbalah Satora, that there was a second receiving an allegiance to the word of Hashem. And the mitzvot of Purim show this as well. Beyond the Seuda, which celebrates our physical salvation, beyond the Megillah, which is publicizing the miracle, there are the mitzvot of Mishalach Manot and Matanot Evyonim. Mishalach Manot Ishlari Ehu. We have a mitzvah to send a gift of food to our friends. Matanot Evyonim. We have an obligation to make sure that those less fortunate also have a joyous Purim with gifts of money. It is the emphasis on the mitzvot ben Adam lechavero that causes an achtut, a unity of the Jewish people, and makes Purim everlasting on the Jewish calendar.